Hey, I'm Rob from Ginger Woodworks. I'm here today with Project DIY and we're going to teach you guys how to make this rustic farmhouse bench. So the first thing we're going to start with on this bench is the top. We've got uh, some two by fours, uh, just premium pine, nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, we're going to measure these out at 48 inches. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the shelf for underneath the bench. We're gonna use three two by fours cut at 35 inches to give you a nice shelf for, for putting baskets. What we're gonna do is this is not 35 inches, so I'm actually gonna put this to the side and we're gonna use this later on this bench. This extra piece we had left over from that uh, first um, shelf piece, we're gonna cut our two 12 and a half inch pieces which are gonna be kind of the, the, uh, the stretcher between the legs on the base. One of the things I like to do is I like to mark this. So some of these small pieces, um, they're, going to, they're gonna be looking similar. I've got some 14 inch cuts here. So I like to mark this so that I know when I go back uh, through that this is exactly the piece that I need uh, when I'm cutting angles. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut two pieces at 14 inches and those are going to be uh, the top of the base which is going to attach to the bench. So with this piece left I'm going to get two of the legs for the base cut out of this. It's 15 and a half inches each. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut 10 degree angles so that both of these, they're not gonna be parallel, both of these are gonna be 12 and a half inches from the tip. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut these off here at 10 degrees. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now with the legs, it's gonna be a little different cut. We are gonna flip it because the legs are gonna be cut parallel. So when I turn this, instead of having this be the same, I'm gonna flip it so that the cut is parallel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the bench. We're going to start with the base. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, this is the, this is the cross brace for the legs. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put pocket holes on the bottom. We're going to drill two pocket holes. We're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna do this same thing to the other piece of the base. So now we're gonna work on our shelf. So same deal with the pocket holes. We're gonna to wanna to put them in on the bottom. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two holes just to keep these boards when you, when you join them, just to keep these nice and solid. And we'll attach them to the middle one that won't have pocket screws. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna assemble the bench top. So we're gonna put our pocket holes um, going down into the board so that we can join them. We're gonna do that on three of the four boards. Uh, the last one here, they're gonna just line up and then uh, butt up against this fourth one. So we're only gonna have to put, we'll put three of them in there. So we'll put one here, one in the middle, and one at the other end. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble our bench top. 
So I've got the one, the first board clamped down here to the tabletop, and that's gonna allow me to, to push right up against uh, that first board to assemble it, to join it. So we're gonna use those holes that we drilled uh, to use to put the pocket hole screws What I like to do is I like to come down here, instead of doing that middle one and going across, what I like to do is make sure everything's nice and aligned. So I get it in there so that it, it's not gonna split the wood. And I push down. And then we'll put that last one in. And you're gonna do the same thing with the rest of them. Okay, now we're gonna assemble the shelf. What we've got is, I did the same thing with the shelf that I did with the top of the bench. I've clamped the first piece to the side of my table. And then I actually, with this one, I've, I've put two, it's another option to do it, but I've taken two new clamps and I've clamped it together to hold it nice and tight. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna put these pocket hole screws in, and do the same thing from the other side. Everything's all set up for me. Now we're gonna assemble the legs for the base of this table. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure three and a half inches up, and I'm gonna do that twice so that I have a nice level line. And that's going to be on the inside of a leg. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our middle piece and I'm going to line these up right there on those lines. From there we're going to add our pocket hole screws on the underside of this table bench. So after you put the first screw in, you always want to check to make sure that it's nice and level. So on the other side, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to line it up on my two marks. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to sit it on a nice flat surface and make sure that it's level. And I'm going to put that other screw in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of screws in here. We're gonna countersink this. We're gonna put a couple two and a half inch screws uh, in the top of each of these to attach our base plate. Now we're gonna use our two and a half inch screws. Okay, so now we're gonna attach our shelf and we're actually gonna assemble our base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure three quarters of an inch from the shelf to the bottom edge. Then I'm gonna put our pocket holes in the bottom, hidden. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the two sides. I'm gonna use the Bessie clamp to kinda of hold it in place. So now that we're finished with the base, um, and everything's built, we're gonna do some sanding. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the progression of grits from 80, 120, and 220. Um, I'm not gonna push too hard. I wanna make sure I let the sandpaper do all of the work. Now that I'm sanding the base, uh, I like to use the micro zip to get into the corners. I use the same sandpaper, this, the 80, 120, and 220, and I go through that progression as well. So I get right in the corners and I'm able to get all of those rough spots right along the edges. So now that we've uh, finished up sanding through our progressions, what we're gonna do now is we're going to paint this in off-white using a furniture paint. And there we are. Now we're gonna stain the top. So now that we've finished our bench top, 
we're, uh, the build, we're going to use the same progression of sandpaper, 80, 120, and 220, to sand uh, the bottom, the top, and the sides of this. Now what we're gonna do, we finished our sanding, we're gonna stain the top of this. We're gonna use a dark walnut stain uh, that's gonna look real nice with the white base that we're doing. Uh, so what I'm using here is a staining pad. You can pick them up anywhere, any hardware store. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit of the stain here on the corner. Then I'm, what I'm gonna do is because we didn't, we didn't rip these, got this nice rustic look, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start by kind of going right here in the grooves so that we make sure that we get all the stain in there. So after I kind of get those grooves, then I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna apply the stain. As you can see, I'm, it's, it's quite a bit of stain, but what I like to do is get that on there, spread it out, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of come back with the bottom of the staining pad and I'll clean that up so everything is nice and smooth. It's the same color. You don't want any, you know. Now that we've finished uh, staining the top and we've painted the base, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach. So I've marked off, I've got them all set so they're three inches from either edge. Um, I've, got the, I've got the holes for the screws countersunk and we're gonna put the screws in and attach the base to the top. 